as promised before the break, we now welcome in BYU basketball assistant coach Nick Robinson, who recruited heavily Ali Khalifa. You were you were on this from the get-go, Nick. So to see this come to fruition, how did it feel when it became official that Khalifa was going to be a BYU basketball player? Yeah, no, it was super exciting yesterday to be able to get the paperwork finalized and for Cougar Nation to provide him with all the excitement and love that uh, uh, he deserves at this particular stage in his early, early career here at BYU. Um, but from start to finish, uh, you know, he was able to really feel comfortable uh, with Coach Pope. Um, I talked to him again last night, and he just kept raving about the connection he was able to have with Coach Pope. When he got here to campus, it was all about the players. And so uh, to see this process go through uh, as relatively quickly as it did um, in the transfer portal world was super exciting for all of us. Mm. One story that came out with Mark is that uh, uh, Khalifa is uh, Muslim mm -hmm. and was fasting during Ramadan and that Mark said he would fast with him. Uh, yes, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's really cool, and um, you know, for us to have official visits on the regular, um, you know, over the course of the years, and even uh, you know, going on right now, you're so used to eating right a full breakfast, and then a full lunch, and then a full dinner. And um, uh, with Ali on campus, uh, we actually just had right a wonderful dinner um, right right at 7:57 p.m. I think is when the sunset went down, and. Um, uh, we're able to, you know, experience that with him. But wow. uh, uh, Coach did go through that process with him, which was really, really cool. And he, did he connect with fellow Muslims, Fus and Atiki, as well in, in their faith and, and the fasting? Was that a thing that he connected with? Them? Yeah, so I think they were talking more basketball-wise, but okay. there's a certain, uh, you know, understanding and respect that they have for mm -hmm. one another as they go through this process. And I believe it ends here uh, Thursday. Um, and so... Um, it's kind of a unique time yeah. uh, in their faith process and in their faith journey. And so we're super excited for him to come mm. and uh, help us understand a little bit more about that process, just like Foots and Atiki have done. Hey, we, we get fasting uh, here as well, which yeah. is super cool. Not in the same way during Ramadan, but shout out to Maury Bamba as well, who's Muslim, who's on the football team, who went through spring ball fasting wow. as well. Wow. Which, which would be difficult. That's quite a feat. Nick Robinson, BYU basketball assistant coach, is on BYU Sports Nation. Again, you worked closely with Ali during this whole process. When you first saw him, what was it that caught your eye? You're like, oh, man, we got to have that guy. Well, I think what sticks out the most is his skill level at his size, right? Being 6'11", it's very rare, right, at all levels of basketball uh, to find a young man that's capable um, of using the basketball as a real weapon. Uh, not just for himself, right, in shooting the threes and finishing around the basket, uh, but he makes his teammates better. Um, you know, he averaged, I think, 11 and a half point, or 11.7 points and, um, right, you know, 6.3 rebounds, yep. uh, but 2.7 assists, um, you know, at 6'11 across college basketball is really unique. Not to mention, right, the 1.8 to 1.9 assist to turnover ratio. Wild for a big um, man. Which is, you know, that's really, really unique. And so there's only, a, you know, a select few guys that are capable of doing that. Um, and that's, you know, both from the perimeter as well as in the post. Um, he's got a real sense for how to make his teammates better. A little high-low with Foose in action, perhaps? Yeah, no, I think that, uh, you know, Foose uh, might be just as excited uh, about <laughs> Ali coming as Ali is about coming. Uh, but not just that. I think, you know, for him to be able to play out of the post, the simple plays that he makes uh, for, you know, guys like um, uh, Jax or Trevin or Spencer, um, you know, or Dallin or any of our guys on the perimeter, uh, he's going to cause some real problems for defenses. Yeah, what is it that makes him such a versatile, high-level passer? Because that's tough to do as a big man. So what have you seen that makes you feel like it's going to continue at BYU? You know, I think it's really his upbringing, right? Um, you know, he was uh, tabbed relatively early to be a part of the, you know, Egyptian, uh, you know, process that goes on there. Um, played for the under-17 national team. Um, he got great training uh, at Global Academy in Australia when he came uh, you know, when he left home at 15, didn't know any English. Wow. Right? You know, just Arabic is his first language. And all of a sudden, right, he's dropped into, uh, you know, the Australian Global Academy, where passing is at a premium. 
uh, there. And so uh, he's come up with great training. Um, in Charlotte, right, Coach Sanchez and their group uh, did a really nice job of utilizing the skill set that he provides. And so to have 64, 65 games of experience in Conference USA, right, and that league was very high level this year. Uh, you know, Ali won the CBI championship. Um, you know, you had, uh, you know, Florida Atlantic in the final four. Yep, yep. Um, the NIT came down to two Conference USA teams. <laughs> UAB, so, right? right? North right, Texas. And North Texas. And so, you know, he, he's been playing at a high level and is really ready uh, to kind of take this next, next step and is excited about what Coach Pope can offer him, right? Uh, you know, given Coach Pope's pedigree, you know, playing as well as coaching. Yeah, we're excited to get to know him, which will be really fun. Um, what, what's, uh, there's at least one roster spot available, it would look like. Are there multiple roster spots you're hoping to fill? What's the next step here? Yeah, I mean, right now uh, we've got multiple guys coming in on campus uh, this week and potentially next week as well. Uh, and right now, as usual, we're looking for individuals that want to be here, right, at BYU, that want to embrace everything that BYU has to offer, that are really good at basketball, but also have the potential, like all all of our guys to come into the Big 12 immediately and grow as a team. And so, you know, that looks a little bit different for different guys. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, you know, we're pretty fluid in what, uh, you know, the next opportunity, the next guy, right, that comes in. Um, you know, we feel like, uh, you know, our skill level continues to increase. The guys are putting great work this spring and will do so this summer. And so, uh, you know, who comes in next? Uh, I'm excited about, uh, you know, to see who comes in next. Is it a guard? Um, you know, I think that there's a, a definite opportunity, right, for, um, you know, somebody that can play, uh, you know, in the guard position, yeah. right? And the reason I say that is we've seen in the Big 12, right, on film and TV and everything that we're, uh, you know, uh, going to experience that guard play, right, and the ability to be able to uh, get to certain spots and make great decisions had a huge impact, right, on the teams in the Big 12. Um, uh, both during the regular season, right, but night in and night out, but also as they went through the tournament. Has the approach to the Big 12, meaning like you're now going to play in the Big 12 compared to last year where you were still recruiting for one year of the West Coast Conference, has that changed now the interest level and the number of players that are interested in BYU in the transfer portal specific to this year? Yeah, so, you know, even a year ago, right, as we were in the transfer portal window uh, with the guys that we had recruited, right, coming in from high school, um, you know, we had received that announcement of the Big 12. And so, uh, you know, Coach has been well aware, right, us as a staff, that the Big 12 is on the horizon. And so the experience that some of our guys were able to gain this past year, given no experience prior, um, is really important for our Big 12 preparation. And so, yes. Right from a recruiting standpoint, does the Big 12 right get us into a few more uh, doors, a few more opportunities, a few more phone calls or zooms? <laughs> um, you know, and even guys coming on campus that might have been a little different prior to that with the West Coast Conference. Yes, um, and that's going to be really exciting as we head forward right into the future, year in and year out. Certainly, BYU's recruiting advantage is members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who want to come to BYU. Um, given the need to win now, the urgency of how tough the Big 12 is, and as a coaching staff, hey, you got to win now. What is the role of sort of that uh, part of BYU's recruitment? Yeah, I think the recruiting advantage from a BYU standpoint, from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints standpoint, is really the all-encompassing national and international right presence that BYU has. And that's going to be no different as we go into the Big 12, right? I think the Big 12, right, sees the opportunity that BYU brings, um, you know, for all of uh, the external excitement that comes, right, from Cougar Nation and from the experience. But, you know, in terms of you know, the individuals that will be on BYU men's basketball team, right, 
it's great individuals, right, that are willing to represent BYU, right, in a fantastic way. And so, you know, the skill set that comes with that, the athleticism that comes with that, right, the toughness and physicality and competitiveness that's required with that, right, in order for us to be great and compete in the Big 12, um, you know, that, that's really on an individual basis um, and comes with a lot of, um, you know, diversity in terms of uh, international and national flavor, mm -hmm. as well as religious diversity, mm -hmm. cultural diversity. Um, but the key component for, right, recruits and individuals who want to be here is we've got to live up to the BYU standard. And real quick, do you have time to wait for a return missionary at this point and with that level of urgency? You know, in terms of, uh, you know, all the opportunities that are out there, right, it's important that everybody understands what we're getting into. And so uh, that's the key component, right? As a staff, right, we have a, a really, really good understanding, and each individual that walks into the program needs to understand what we're getting ourselves into. Uh, Coach Pope's vision, right, uh, for us heading into the Big 12 is incredible. I'm super excited about it, but it is also extremely, extremely yeah. challenging yes. um, as we walk into right this summer now. Be compared it to hiking Mount Everest. So let's gear up and go, man. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, let's get the gear on. Let's get it, you know, everything that we need and start walking Tip one step at a time. Tipping sounds tough enough right <laughs> out of me. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Always yeah. fascinating. Thanks for the insight. Great. Thanks, guys.